I think resilient is, is probably the first thing, one of the first things that come to mind. Um, how are you guys able to just keep taking punches and swinging back? I mean, that was a, a pretty impressive effort against the defending champions tonight. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're a young team and really competitive. Um, I was saying all the time, you know, we're a team that it's not taking a step back and just take a step forward. And, um, of course, you know, we knew that it's going to be a tough game against the uh, Lakers, but I feel like, especially after the yesterday game, we, we bounced back. And uh, I think we're, that we played great tonight. Of course, there was a little small details that we missed that cost us a little bit, but um, I feel like we had a great game tonight. Thanks. Charles, down here. Charles, the rest of the athletic. Um, Jenny, kind of, I'm sorry if you already answered this, but going off of that, um, what's the biggest lesson defensively that you guys learned tonight and that you can take away from, you know, how you guys played last night and then how you guys played tonight? Yeah, it was, for us, was really important just to bounce back after the, you know, last night's game, which was really tough for us. Um, but, um yeah, defense, I mean, really small details. We gave up offensive rebounds. I, I, I think that was the, you know, that cost us a little bit. But, um, I mean, when you look at the game, we were right there. We were right there. And, I, I mean, you know, Brian obviously made the tough shots. I mean, we knew that he he's going to be the one taking those shots, but I think that we did our best. So, uh, you know, we had a great game. It was a fun game to play tonight. Uh, and, you know, we have Detroit. Uh, after two days, so we're gonna have to focus on that one. And I uh, saw before the game, you got to see LeBron. I guess how good was it just to have that moment to be able to just see him and and uh, reconnect on the floor before the game? Yeah, it was great. I mean, it was great. You know, we had a, a small gap chat a little bit, but you know, it was it was great seeing him, and it's always great, you know, playing against him. I'm always getting excited, and um, you know, he had a he had a great game tonight. We had a great game. Is it? As a team, um, we're going to keep working hard. But, yeah, it was definitely great seeing him. And then offensively, um, I guess just over these last few games, too, what have what have you seen as the biggest growth um, and just the what's been working well for you guys as you continue to, you know, pass the ball really well and find each other for shots? But I guess how has that continued to grow? Uh, I mean, that's something that, you know, Coach Staff is always telling us that we have to be uh, – most competitive team on the floor and most selfless team on the floor. So we're really trying to, we're really trying to do that. And uh, I feel that, you know, every day we're getting better. Of course, we're going to have, you know, bad, game, bad games, which is totally normal, but, you know, it's important to bounce back like we did tonight. So, uh, you know, we're in a good way. We just have to keep playing like we did tonight. Thanks. Angel. Angel Gray, Fox Sports, Ohio. Daddy, I apologize if you've already answered this, but you did give yourselves a, a good chance towards the end of the game and down the stretch. But what would you have wanted to see executed differently towards the end? Uh, from our side? Yes, I mean, for you guys. I mean, really, I think I think we, we did everything we could, you know. Uh, I feel, you know, we were there. We, compete, we competed for 48 minutes. Uh, like I said, there was a small details that hurt us, but, you know, that's something that we can fix. Um, but I feel like, you know, we did everything we could. I mean, you know, obviously, Brian hit a couple of tough shots in a, down the stretch, you know, but, I mean, that's that's what he do. So, uh, but, you know, I just feel like we did everything we could. And then just what going off of what Kelsey um, asked as well, I thought it was very cool seeing you and LeBron um, just having that moment at the beginning of the game, but you also pinned that amazing letter to him just um, on how he's impacted your life. Just knowing that you have the respect of King James in this league, what does that tell you about even what you can bring to this, to this league? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, my, in my rookie year, he really helped me a lot. Uh, he really took me under his wing and, you know, he, he really helped me with everything you know, on the court and off the court. And it was, it was, it was a great experience just, you know, being around him, especially my rookie year, I wasn't playing a lot. So that's why I, I had a chance to watch him. How's he playing? You know, the way he's working. I mean, he's a, he's a true professional. He's, he's a great character, first of all. And, uh, 
you know, when I wrote that letter, it was something really that come through my heart because really that's what I felt. And, uh, you know, I was really happy that I had a chance to play with him. And, uh, but the most important thing is that I, that I earned his respect, you know, that was, that was really important for, for myself. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that I did that. And then last thing, just as far as, I know you didn't get the results that you wanted as far as a win tonight, but for this group, especially coming off of the game last night, um, where would you say you grew or what, is there any lesson that you can pull from this about this, um, about your team tonight? I mean, defensively, we were playing better, obviously. Defensively, offensively, we're sharing basketball. Defensively, we were, we're playing tough. We were really playing tough. I mean, they did score, uh, but, you know, we were, every time we're right there, we gave them a maybe a couple easy, easy, easy shots, easy points. But when you look at the game, the 48 minutes, I mean, I feel like we were right there all the time. And, you know, it was really important after the, after the game last night to, to bounce back, especially against the Lakers, you know. So I think that's a, that's a big goal for us. Back to Kelsey. Um, Jenny, I kind of wanted to ask about after last night's game, what were the conversations you guys had as a team, you know, about last night's performance, but then also, you know, the mentality and, and heading into this game, I guess, like, I guess, yeah, what were those conversations like? I mean, you know, obviously that we have to be better, um, you know, especially as a first unit, we started bad that game and, you know, we, we, we can't do that because, uh, you know, we're the one who started the game. So we have to, we have to lead, we have to play the right basketball. So, you know, when the second unit come, they can continue. But um, uh, so that's why, you know, but I, I said, you know, it happens. Everybody can have a bad game as a team. It happens. But the most important thing is like how we responded tonight. And I'm really happy the way we fought tonight. Thanks. If anybody else has anything, put it in the chat, please. If not, we'll end with John. Go ahead, John. Hey, Jetty. Um, what did you think of Isaac's performance tonight? Um, he was matched up against LeBron quite a few times. Um, what do you say to a young guy in a situation like that? Um, it didn't even seem like he was in bad position. A lot of times LeBron's just knocking down shots like he does. Yeah. I mean, no, really. I feel like he was right there. I mean, he was contesting, he was fighting and that's all he can ask. What do you, what do you can ask? You no, know, like obviously Brian's going to be Brian. You're going to make his shots. But when you, when you look at Isaac, I mean, he was really competing all the time and you know, he, he was fighting and, I feel like that's what we can ask from him, especially regarding LeBron. He did, I, I feel like, you know,